What's up, Warriors? Welcome back to another episode of GTV, your number one source for all news, sports reports, and announcement here at Go High School. Today is Friday, March the 3rd, 2017, and I'm your Auntie Richard, and this is JJ. And first up, the Creative Writing and AP Britisher Literature classes at Liberty Ranch will be hosting a Jane Austen Ball on March 25th from 6 to 9 p.m. as a fundraiser. Tickets will be $5 for students and children and $10 for adults. Hope to see you guys there. So here's coffee with Mr. Beck about Spring Sports by JJ. Hello, I'm Hunter Martin with GTV, and today I'm going to be doing an interview with Mr. Posey. Uh, how are you today? I'm doing good. I'm ready for the playoff game tonight, boys soccer. All right. Uh, we're going to be asking you a few questions about uh, spring sports. So what spring sports are there? Spring sports, we have track, swimming, one of my favorites, and um, baseball, softball. Um, and all that stuff's getting started right now. And actually, baseballs and softball are having a rough time because of the rain, but that should be working out soon. Do you think that golf sports are going to do good this year? I think during the springtime they are. They're going to do really good. I mean, tonight we have the boys' soccer uh, playoff game, and then actually this weekend we have three wrestlers going to the Masters meet at the Stockton Arena, uh, Ian Reese, Isaiah Sines, and Rigo. Uh, what's your favorite sport uh, for spring? For springtime, um, I like baseball. I coach my son's baseball team. I was never any good at it, but I can coach a nine-year-old at baseball. Uh, that's about my limit. But I, I like baseball. I like swimming also. A lot of people don't know I actually swam from Alcatraz to San Francisco about seven years ago. Uh, yeah, and I trained myself how to swim, but I'm not very fast. It took me an hour to do that in a wetsuit. But sw I like swimming, and I like baseball, softball. I like track. I wish I would have ran track in high school. Um, but I really like all spring sports. What team do you think is going to do the best this year? Um, it's a good question. I think, you know, one thing that is really interesting, I think we got a good shot with a lot of our track, uh, people that play track is we have a new assistant coach this year and it's actually a former Olympic gold medalist, uh, Stephanie Trapton. She's stepping in to coach, uh, assistant coach our track team. Thank you for uh, letting us interview you and this concludes this segment with GTV. Thank you very much. Wait, that's not Ms. Beck. That was Mr. Posey. Well, still sounds great, right, Richard? Yeah, that's great news. So how about some random interviews led by Louis? What is your dream ride? Um, I'd probably want a, a Lambo. A van with black windows. It'd be, I'd say an 87 Chevy. My dream ride was a Camaro. An M4 Sherman tank. I'd be more of a truck, but I'd probably say Chevy Silverado. Subaru. Uh, Ford Mustang. A Range Rover? Um, probably a 66 Mustang. A bike. Wow, those were some interesting interviews. Yeah, you're telling me, JJ. All right, well now to the Weekly Warrior with Hunter. Hi, I'm Hunter Martin, and this is Ian Reese, and he is, this is our uh, Warrior of the Week. So, how do you think the wrestling season went as a whole? I think it went, went really well. Um, the past couple years have been rebuilding it, So, uh, how did the individuals do at last year? Um, we all did really well. I think uh, some of our teams, and like myself, didn't really expect to make it that far. So, when we got there, it was really just about the experience. I ended up getting one or two. Isaiah Sands ended up getting two, and then uh, Rico went two and two. So, I think we did well for being having with them the first time. What do you think that next year and in the years to come that uh, wrestling is going to do as good or maybe even better? I think so. With guys like Rigo and Jacob that have the experience at Masters, they can definitely take the transition over and uh, make the most of what what we do for them. So after high school, do you think you're going to continue your career in wrestling? Um, I've considered if I end up doing the Cal Poly, just walking on, just to finish, just how it would go, because it's a 
Thank you very much for letting us interview you, and um, that concludes this segment. Great choice. Ian is a great wrestler. Yeah, dude, I definitely agree. Now we're going to Linnea Festival led what by exactly Hunter is and Noah. What exactly is the Linnea Festival? The Linnea Festival is a competition for the drama students and uh, part of the VAP Academy, and we basically comp compete in monologues, scenes, and actual plays created by students or just doing random plays. Do you have to do any other competitions to get to do that competition? You're not required to have a scene or anything. You don't have to compete at all. But it's a fun festival where you can pay to get in if you're not a student. But if you're a part of the field trip, you can get in for free. How do you think Galt's going to do this year? Uh, <laughs> well, I hope we're going to do good. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll get most of it done pretty well. Is the competition difficult? I guess since you are competing against other high schools, it could be difficult if you're trying to achieve something, but it's more just a fun kind of thing to do rather than compete for. But you do get awards for it. Thank you for letting me interview you, and this wraps up this segment. Wow, that looked like lots of fun. It does look fun, doesn't it? Want to know what else looks fun? <laughs> Donking basketball. What is that? Here, I'll show you. Roll it. Roll that clip. You're right, Richard. That does look like fun. Hate to say I told you so, but... Don't even say it. I told you so. And now, to our commercials. Ooh, piece of candy. Don't let this be you. Be smart and considerate when you are driving, because you will always have to share the road. And even if you think you are alone on the road, just be aware of your surroundings. You don't want to hit a pedestrian or a light pole. Please don't put yourself at risk by blasting your music, using a cell phone, eating, or even grooming. Try to avoid bad weather and stick to driving during the day, if possible. Doing all these things may seem unnecessary, but think about your safety and the safety of others. By practicing these skills, you can become a smart, defensive driver. Okay, now for our blood dry recap from two weeks ago. All right, let's roll it. Wow, thanks to all those people who, dated, who donated blood. And now here's our own Chase Taylor with his Sev Up video. Every life deserves happiness. Pay your actions forward. Wow, what a great see you video. So this concludes our GTV episode 21. I'm your host, JJ, and that's Richard. And we hope to see you for another episode of GTV.